Do you happen to know any of these numbers off the top of your head? I can know some off the top of my head, but give me four seconds to pull up that up. What are we, what are we talking about today? Agile? Spin create is, is like close to nothing. <laughs> well, we're about to crush it right now. I spell agile. <laughs> is that a G? A-G-I-L-E? Is, is that right? Is that spelled right? Agile. Yes. This week was zero. Spins created. That, that's not true though, because we created, we had the water cooler after I did this. So. Didn't don't we have like uh, beyond water cooler? Don't we have uh, the glocals? Okay. Now, now without the cackling, I take that as a no. No. So we have water cooler. So I don't know. The water cooler was what twenty minutes. So twenty, 20 minutes, minutes or so. Minutes watched? Uh, 229. Cool. Uh, and five. I turned it on, left it running. Went you just turned it on, left, shower. left it running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> took a shower, came back. <laughs> um, okay, is this, are we live? Live. Should I do the so intro? Brilliant. You said turn it on, so I turned it on. That's what she said. <laughs> Cut that. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's now on the internet forever. You know what you did, right? On the internet forever. You just validated my. That's what she said. George missed us, I think. Yeah, I think he did. Can um can someone go into the YouTube uh, video for this in the live stream? And, Are we doing YouTube live? live? Yes. Live. Hey, look at that. Uh, that was live tag. YouTube live. You guys did YouTube live this? for that, and then you saved and it. And you're looking at yeah. me while you say that. Can someone do it? Cat's playing the Catholic card and being late because of, you know, Catholic things. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think you go to church at like 7. I don't. It's live and it's working. It says live and it's on. Yep. Holy crap, I have no hair. Yes, we can see you. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see this? That's good. This Great. is important. How's it going? My name is George Weiner. This is Globesville <laughs> class. And today's lecture slash working session will cover things like uh, running meetings, agile, uh, site structure and development as a management process, and maybe a little bit about segmentation. Uh, I think that covers it. Alrighty, so to start, we are looking at our goals. And Greg, you're updating us on these goals. And it, this has changed from like our vision goals, which were like obviously as Globesville, we want eyeballs, we want trust, we want lots of good content. Rational. When we get into measuring, this is like this is our car dashboard. When we're driving to work, how fast are we going? How fast should we be going in order to get where we need to go? Which is class on time. Nice job, everybody. So, help me break down and understand what did the minutes watched incorporate, Greg? It incorporates YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Does this count right now? This will count if someone's watching. Okay. And, 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 if, and if we archive it and then someone watches it after, that counts too. Great. Why is that important? Because we want eyeballs. Right? That helps over with our eyeballs. What about this one? Minutes created. Why is that important? No content, nobody watching. This is pretty logs. <laughs> logs. Water bottle. Garden cat. Garden cat. Now it's logs. And what about this? That is email, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube subscribers, buying Instagram and LinkedIn. But I thought we were like a digital media creation. Why the heck do we even care about that? Don't we just why why not just stay over here? Yeah, but they're already watching our stuff on YouTube. Why bother? I, we are putting this up. I'm sure somebody will be, you know, tired enough this morning to be watching this. We have two people watching right now. Well, I can see one of them. I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> oh, I got three now. High five, team. See three. Because <laughs> uh, you want to get new viewers constantly, and you want to get the word out to all of NYC. 
Why does reach matter? Well, this is that this number, right? So how many we can reach is so that's our reach, right? Why not get rid of reach? Because it makes it faster, and you do get more people in a small amount of time. Because it's like it gives you a what 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 word do you use for it? No, a viral. <laughs> he wants to say trust so badly. It's viral faster when you are on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere like that because uh, people are all the time on Facebook and some, something updates on Facebook or Twitter that reaches faster than YouTube because for YouTube you have to be specifically going there but if you're sitting on Facebook and something pops up you film that faster. film that so you said some interesting things there you're like well wait a minute we can't really this is passive minutes watch right these are people that happen to be floating along watch our video and then obviously we count them. But how would we get something, and I hate the word, to make it go viral. Yeah. But if we were to try to capture lightning in a bottle, this would be the start. If this number were, uh, instead of five, we would have no more problems. Because these numbers would then also, well, not this one. This would still be sad face. <laughs> Is there a violin in there too? Why not? I mean, it's a table. And then it's like. Oh, the log is on the table. Oh, I see what you did there. Wow. How long has this guy been crying for? Is that a wave? It seems like months. <laughs> For 20 minutes, create? That's pretty good, though. Come on now. <laughs> Add a wave of tears. Anyhow, I digress. That's terrible. I don't even know what it is. If this reach number, if our ability to reach more people went up, these, at least this number, would go up to, like considerably. Because we can say, hey, 5 million people that we can reach on, what are the networks that? YouTube. We oh, count. No, 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 sorry, the... Uh... It's email, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Vine, Instagram, LinkedIn. Exactly. And social. Even if all, every one person is not reached, watching for one minute, it's still larger than that five people watching. It's our ability to grow this number over time. So when we're thinking about how we're creating things, how we're sending out messages, ultimately, this number over here, this is our money in the bank. I can turn each one of these people into dollars. Let's say we had a Globesville product, a shirt, a pen, or whatever it may be, a piece of jewelry. These would be the people that we go out to and sell to. And so in growing this number, we grow our assets. And so our digital team should constantly be looking at how we grow this reach number. Yes? I just want to know one thing. Uh, when we watch a video on YouTube and we just skip, uh, like we directly go to the end part, like this is the 10 minute video, and we go to the end part, does that matter? Like, the minutes matter? Because I've not watched the first five, six minutes. And just directly go. So, you think you have hacked the system? We can just watch the first minute and the last. YouTube. No, like, it, it, like. So, YouTube, yeah, when you're. For that too. So, you're in your, like, you're in your player. It's got these hidden markers along the video. So, it can, can tell if you've really actually watched it, but it's measuring along this way how much time you've actually watched. So you can't like trick it by the end, a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, and then look, I got to the beginning and the end. It's like, you know, we, yeah, we're on to you. Uh, but good thinking, keep that up. I love gaming algorithms, nothing I love more. OK, um, and thank you for asking questions. So we care about these numbers. Um, and we'll get into this every single time. We'll be checking in and hopefully get our weekly updates. So to start, why don't we all begin with um, our sort of like update meeting. And who wants to lead that? Who normally leads our, our update meeting? Hmm? You do. Great. So um, we're, we are at the, just about at the point where we are ready to put it 
content on the internet. Um, we have, I think, three shows at the moment that are HBO with four, including uh, uh, Well, I Used Tonight Tech, which I forgot the name of at the moment, but. Throwback Thursday. Time Capsule. I'm, I'm talking junk. Yeah. Um, we're using Long Island. LA News Tonight footage, um, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get like clips of it to put up on Thursdays and throw back Thursday. Yeah. So we've got that, we've got Pangea now, we've got uh, Pangea Music with Sinai, and then we've got Pangea Sports, which is also in the works, we're looking to run it, has to run Thursday, Dave keeps getting drilled for the following weeks, and then we should be doing a three hour shoot on Thursday live shoot which will go up on Thursday. Thursday and then the week following we should have a camp and package and a live um, live show to stream or to be able to transfer it out um, next following week. So next week we should have a supplement. Yeah, that number. Yeah, yeah. Show. Be, that's what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Pat and Danielle show. Oh yeah. And the war floor. And the war floor. Wow. Come on. Next week. And this. Whatever and the George show. All right, so, so that's the update from you. Now, how do you, how do we check in with everybody else? Uh, so this is a, an update meeting, right? And we're trying to get a sense of what everyone's working on. So continue running your meeting. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else to say. <laughs> I don't think he understood what you're talking I don't, about. I, I don't, so I might not be. As we're managing our team here, and you're managing our, our meeting this morning, uh, that's clear, but what is everyone else doing? So how would you like oh, to... Oh, what is everyone doing today? Today, yes. this week. This week, next week. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, um, Sandra will continue to um, you know, hang out Sandra? the scripts for, for her show. Excuse me. Um, Danielle and Catherine... Um, their, their show as well every week, so um, they will know what to do. Um, Ashley is working on the LA News Tonight portion. Um, Fritz is working with Catherine and Danielle, and then afterwards we just help out with the show. Seems to say everyone is in there. And what about this room? In this, oh, like Around this table. Um, what are we all doing? Uh, going to uh, ask you a question. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, you're doing your show with Catherine. Yeah. You're doing Angie right. now. You are in digital. Now I'm doing social media. Yes. For you are. She's doing social media for this class. We have three social media people. Doug. Three. And, and Grace is the social media manager, and she is uh, in charge of. Do this, man. Two premises, which I have to look over because I have not had a chance to do that. Um, so it's something that we're good. Well, are you in for the other thing? Yeah, I am. But I'm not assigned to anything. Let's change it. Let's go. Let's get this. Well, what's going on with the Mad Lips thing? What's, what's happening with the Mad Lips thing? Um, I don't know. I guess we have to talk about it. We're going to talk about, that We're gonna talk about it more. We'll talk, we'll about, talk about, it. about it a lot. <laughs> Let's do it. And uh, we'll get ready to Stephanie's do Stephanie's working on the live event. And up the banner for the live. And we're working with Bella for and for the both the and the third end. Oh, we're also working.
Um, why don't you have a seat? You can move the empty chair. There's, trust me, nobody coming. All right, so is that the, that is the, that is our update meeting. And normally, would we now all go to work? Would we um, like if you were head not, off, head off into the sunset? Uh, yes, uh, like if you were not, if you're doing this, then yes. Whatever this is. Yes, whatever it is. The door is just set. Like I said, this side is two or three. Yeah, so rather, usually the, the, this part of the, the day, or Wednesday, at least, is short. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's not an hour long day. You're holding mm -hmm. I mean, not that Thursday does it, but it's a little bit longer. It's, 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 it's so okay. I'd like to pull a Zach Morris timeout just to date myself painfully. And thank you. And timeout and say, actually, not bad. That took about five minutes. You were able to go around and from your brain actually remember what each person was doing. Give us a full-on update. When we're talking about a, an agile type meeting and an agile type project management structure for, for a company or even a meeting, an effective meeting, uh, one of the key components is actually making sure that everyone is aligned in what's being done. And it seemed that way even though I could tell that there was computer activity, cell phone activity, more computer, more computer activity. And so while this is all clearly in your brain, impressive, by the way, for the morning, we don't necessarily have alignment, accountability, or even clear direction as we charge off into multiple directions. And so next week, if I were to let this go again and you gave an update, what would it look like? Yet. We'll include you when we need to. Yeah. So Andre, again, nice job. Andre is what I like to call a hero manager. He is like able to think about every single piece that every single person is doing. But there is a point where Andre would break down as a human. Because as I continue to add people to his team, people start to fall away from his, uh, his incredible mental prowess of tracking everyone's activity every week and staying on top of them. And so this mindset is uh, very classic of an older management style and even sort of even a meeting check-in. It certainly creates efficiency because you were actually able to go around and point to people. But I'm willing to bet that last week sounded a lot like this week. And the week prior, here are the shows we're working on and not necessarily drawing out the type of accountability. And so what I'd like to offer out there as an option, uh, as part of an effective meeting, is something in Agile project management called a stand-up. And it's got a structure, which we can try out. The goal is to, one, get updates from people, and then set reasonable expectation of what people are doing within a time frame. And so in this system, it is What you did yesterday, what you're doing today, and blockers. So the idea is to have individual accountability for people, to not rely on Andre's brain, hero though he is, to remember what everyone in the team is doing, 
and then to track this over time. What are our tasks? And this is a small part of Agile, but this is a stand-up meeting style where we're going to go around. People will update based on these things. We track them and then say, next week, we can see if people are not doing the items that they said they were going to do. And it's breaking larger tasks, things like creating a water cooler and all of these items that you have are great like sort of milestones. Like, of course, we want to create another show. But what are the individual components that go into it? What are the social media posts? Do we need three on the way there? Do you need to be there taking pictures? You and all of your infinite wisdom couldn't possibly imagine the minutiae of each individual person in these key smaller parts, right? It's about breaking down a larger task into its component parts so that along the way we can make sure, of course, people are doing what they need to do. But also, what is stopping work? Is Professor Fizz or uh, Professor Weiner not getting back to us on a key thing we need? And is this quietly stopping the entire process of getting those minutes created, which I'm willing to bet because we've only had 20 minutes created. There is something out there blocking us. Well, that was from last week, but it was pretty much the same thing before. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, first off, I, I want to be clear on these terms. What is, uh, what is, what do you think a blocker is? Sanjay. <laughs> Sanjay. A linebacker. Wait. That's out to you, bud. Um, something that's like um, stopping you from doing what you an excuse for you just didn't get enough. Maybe you get something done and then it has you have to hand it off to someone else and they're not prepared. So then there's a block. <laughs> so right, that you pass the ball to the other court, but you need it back in order to bring it the rest of the way, and you're like waiting for the ball and waiting, and you're like, where, where, where did the ball go? Why hasn't it come back to me? And you're right also. Maybe there's a piece of work. Fortunately, some of these blockers that are like excuses, like I got sick, Isn't an excuse. tend to draw social attention. And I'll show you why. I'm going to redo uh, an update meeting for everybody right now. Um, and it's a stand-up. So true to form. I need everybody to stand up. Well, Greg was fast. Well, I knew it was coming. Greg was like, <laughs> you want me to stand Greg, up? How far do you want me to this. stand up? Uh, DMX, you can sit down, if you don't mind taking, uh, taking some notes. And throw out your name uh, before, just so I can get better with names. All right, so who would, ah, Greg, why don't you start with what you did yesterday, what you're doing today, and if there are any blockers. Okay, well, I'm What's your name? My name's Greg. I just said it. Um, <laughs> last week or yesterday, I did the analytics. Um, I tracked the, the Zoho hours, and I'm we have to get we have to give slogans at the table to do today. Mm -hmm. And the block we I had some uh, so many people doing slogans, but we need to do more. We need to buy bigger. We need to get a Harris working on the banner. We need to price it, and we need to get it bought. Live banner that goes to Stephanie. I'm sorry. Howard's working on social media. Stephanie's working on the banner. Because I am out of my mind today. Cool. And that's that. Great. Uh, I'm Mabu. I'm with Ally News tonight. Axie. I'm Mabu. I'm Ally News tonight. Uh, and I used to like to YouTube and all the information I got related to it. But the problem is I have to get her fix the tapes for me for Ally News tonight and I'm researching them. So I talked to him like last week. So he will be helping me out this time. Then I'm working on one more uh, proposal that's a global news thing that I talked to Professor Kevin last week. So I have found all the updates on it and it's going to be like all the problems that are in uh, like China, Russia, India, whatever problems are all around and we can have a little news piece in the morning for five minutes. Uh, that thing, and then last uh, week, uh, uh, Professor Rob, right? He appointed me in water coolers producer thing. One of the water coolers he told me to work with. He fired you. Oh, uh, okay. He <laughs> fired me. <laughs> Professor Pavel <laughs> fired I'm, I'm fired. That's sad. Okay. <laughs> then, uh, She's not okay. <laughs> I'm okay with everything. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Then, um, what, what else? Yeah, Benji and I, I was helping uh, Andre and I uh, 
want to work on this international music thing with the students to find out the iTunes uh, music, what's going on around. In That's not changing. <coughs> and you music. The radio show, right? That's and you music. Yeah, Indian music. Um, and that, and I've given the updates, whatever I had to Andre, I've sent it to Andre also. That's okay. interesting. So, no, uh, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do because I'm like in production group. I have not really handled anything, but I have given a proposal about my own show, but I don't know how far it's going to go, so I have to talk about it. Okay, what's the next step? Um, I'm going to talk to Andre about what. Is Andre your blocker? No. Okay. I wasn't there last week. So. That's a blocker. <laughs> Uh, last, um, last week I helped with uh, Daniel and Catherine's shoot and with uh, Sandra and Andre's shoot. And this week I guess it's going to be more of the same. But um, I proposed a show that people seem to be excited about, but uh, I still talked to people about it. Mad Libs? The Mad Libs show, yeah. And, uh, but I'm not exactly a producer type, so I'm going to be helping that. Okay. Uh, uh, Last week, uh, Monday, we shot a kind of a, a pilot test for something uh, that came out. Um, Thursday, Ty and I shot a, another test run of country music and some other songs. We uh, worked on another script to work for a longer format. Um, that's that. Any other blockers? Uh, um, for Pangea music, I'm working on an opening sequence, but um, I just have to get my sister to do something for me, so she and I are blocking each other because she's my schedule. Um, but I might work around that and just do something for the time being until the part is in play. Um, I didn't get a chance tomorrow. A huge blocker. I was gonna say fish for the commercial. That's that's it, I think. Give a list of the blockers, right? <laughs> no, I didn't write them all down. Okay. What's happening? Um, so last week I submitted the banner, which we have no tape on. Um, so and then last week I submitted the proposal for the event. Um, what else did I do last week? Oh, so this week I'm going to do uh, I want to do a digital banner. I want to feature on social media. Um, I have to get pricing for the print out banner. Um, and also we have to go over the event and make sure what I think the event is going to be like is okay with them and what they want the event to be like. So I think we're going to do that as one more different thing. Are they they? Yes. <laughs> Are they them? <laughs> that's that's them there? Yeah, they're them there. So. <laughs> Hey, I'm Danielle, and um, 
last week, Catherine and I worked on the show uh, that we're doing, which is called Because You Teen. And so it's the Maggie Lee show. Today we're doing like a live portion, so we're going to be editing footage that we have. Which today we'll be editing a little bit more, finalizing, and then just figuring out exactly what we're saying. Well, it's going well. Walker Wise, with this show, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess it's our busy schedule and us talking to each other and you know, setting time for when we can start to kind of talk. Um, and then the, I proposed an idea about cupcakes. I mean, tasting cupcakes. Like, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't know if people think that's silly, but I think it's a great idea. We do. So we do. We do. I just want to eat a lot of things. Yeah, I just want to bring in tons of cupcakes tomorrow. And <laughs> anyway, and Liam and I. So hold on, okay. Zach Morris, time out. I was waiting for opportunity. Okay. We have another thing. So. Oh, parking lot. <laughs> parking lot. Parking lot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so hold on. What the heck is a parking lot, and what is it doing in this meeting? <laughs> what is a parking lot? It's uh, the space where we take things that are like, keeping us off track. <laughs> Meetings over, we all go to our and have four cars and talk about these things. Okay. Wait, Liam and I, for the water cooler tomorrow, have been talking over the weekend and last week, putting together ideas that also relate to us about the Oscars. No, no cupcakes, the Oscars. Um, Greek pancake day, which was yesterday, and other things like that. So that'll be tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow. We're going to be doing that live again, the water cooler, and and I'm working on our show today. Hi, I'm Sandra. You can call me Sandy. Um, yesterday, I worked on a script for Pin Here Now. Uh, last week, I was thrown into this opportunity, which I love. I did a run through, it was actually pretty cool. Um, basically, the show is about like trending topics, and like every week we'll have like a weekly um, um, topic. Last week we did relationships. Um, this week we're going to talk about scandal and slash scandal relationships. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, and then my blogger should be probably myself and my friend. Okay, that's less specific that we can't really help you. <laughs> this is helping, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, I'm Tara. Basically, I just been managing the social media for Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and on Tuesdays, um, well, I've been looking up like different types of hashtags, and for Tuesdays, I have like Tara Tuesday that I'm hoping eventually catches on. That has it. <laughs> That's about it. Any blockers? No, no update from you. I'll give an update longer. later. We'll park and let my update. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's have a seat. So Andre, what did you just say? Awesome. Why did you just say awesome? Because you wanted to sit down. Most people follow me on this like sitting down. And so during a stand up, does this encourage us to go on and on and on? Or I'm keep it? I mean, it didn't stop me. <laughs> I had to do it. You live the dream. Again, well done. Um, because you're still mixing to-do items with milestone items, which is fine. But when we break it down into component tasks, what are some of the things we realize? We realize that there were actually, despite that you had an update and people knew where we were going, there were people that didn't know what their next steps were. And you hopefully realize that your own blockers and yourself as a manager and the hero manager, the fact that your prioritization may have been off, you were thinking about what I need to do next as opposed to what the team needs to do next, changes the priority. And an example would be there may be requests from Sonal or Axie that are literally stopping them from being productive over this next week, while you yourself may be a hero employee and hero manager producing 10x the amount of work other people are 
your team may actually be suffering because of the way you prioritize your own work. And this is the difference of somebody who is working from this I perspective versus the team perspective. The actual work of being a manager and thinking about your role in an agile process of how the team is producing more work over time. How are we creating more minutes? And while you yourself could put it on your back, it is not sustainable. So that was one of the reasons I walked through this process and I'm using you as an example. I hope that's okay and picking on you. So, <laughs> those are the elements of stand-up meeting. We also have accountability, some of the other elements. How did it feel, um, I like Sonal, how did it feel when you were like, I didn't do anything last week? Did that feel good or bad? Okay, Axie, how did you feel if you were like... I, I felt very confident because I just figured it in my head that what were things are going on because when I talk, I make a list of it in my head. Okay. What we're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> how did you? How did you? I, anyone else? I feel disappointed in myself when I don't get a lot of work done. So we for the opportunity. And anyone else feels the same. How did you feel? Um, well, I feel more confident today because last week I was kind of like put me out there. Mm -hmm. um, this week I kind of have like a structure and like I work with Andre on it and I'm confident that we can be successful. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Tara, <laughs> Tara Tuesday, how did you feel? <laughs> I wish it would catch on a little bit more, but <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do with social media this semester is um, have people who are covering social media have their own personalities when, on the days that they're covering, because we have three social media people, uh, four including me. I'm doing the weekends since nothing really goes on on the weekends. Um, and we have Tara Tuesdays. We're going to have Ask Grace on Mondays, and we're going to have, I think, Dougie Fresh Fridays or something like that on Fridays with Doug. Um, Great. So, and we, we created a schedule, uh, well, actually Grace did, created a schedule um, for which student is covering which days, so they're held accountable for that day for social media and everything going on. And uh, one of uh, Tara's tasks as a social media person on Wednesdays is she's going to create like a list of all the people in Globesville who interact with social media, who share on Facebook, and who retweet and favorite on Twitter. This way we can, uh, we can give biz points to. Biz any, points? Biz points, yeah. Oh, yeah extra credit, and if you get yeah, a certain yeah. amount of biz points, you don't have to do a global minute. Um, <laughs> extra credit um, <laughs> towards you know, Globesville if they, if they choose to interact with us on social media. And we've had a lot more interactions on social media this semester than we have in the semester in the past, which is good. Oh, bravo. Nice and um, so she's keeping track of that. Doug is going to be uh, scheduling all the tweets in advance. So every month he's going to sit down and schedule the next month's tweets and Facebook posts from the um, NYT calendar and any sort of events and stuff that we're having. Another thing that... Uh, this group is doing is um, uh, the outreach group, which Greg will probably talk to you more about, is we're going to um, start doing campaigns. Since these shows are going to go live and go live at the same time every week, we're going to do campaigns for each show where um, we're going to have flyers thrown around campus saying tune in live for this show um, or some sort of social, and this is where the social media comes in, some sort of social media campaign that promotes that show and what's going on that week. Okay, so I'm going to social strategy this, social outreach, if there's like... And I was talking for Grace probably. It was only a little bit. All right. So moving back to where we were in how we were feeling during standing up while everyone's eyes were on us, is instead of next week where we would have checked in with Andre, who would have gone around, the difference is that when you get up there and present and everyone's eyes are on you, you're like oh, damn, I should have been doing this or that. There's a social pressure that you don't even, as a manager, have to work on saying, like, God damn, why didn't you do your work? Everyone, like, come on, we're going to talk to you outside. You passively let them feel the pressure of their colleagues who are actually doing work, and it allows this sort of, like, policing that sometimes you feel like you have to do to do itself. A sprint, or sprint, is um, a unit of time. And this is another uh, component of Agile. So these stand-up meetings, 
go into a larger thing that's called a sprint. And this is just saying, what is a normal unit of time? So this could be, a sprint could be a day, could be a week, could be two weeks, could be a month. You define it, and you say, as a team, what are we going to accomplish in this unit of time? And for us, I'd say it's usually one week, which is helpful because we meet every week. So what are we accomplishing in this week? We're not going to go through this list, but if we had a, what is known as like a sprint board, we would keep track of everything as milestones that we're trying to accomplish. That was kind of like the list that you had. And this could be two weeks if you feel like you need to update it. But the key thing about the sprint is that when it's done, you jump into sprint two. And things that didn't get checked off go here. And we get a sense of how many things per week or per two weeks we're accomplishing. Adds a bit more of a system to how we're doing things. Up to you if you want to adopt or not, but I'll leave it there. OK. We have a couple things in our parking lot, which I'm not going to forget about. But we can discuss these, I think, post-camera post rolling, because it's you know, a discussion that we can all partake in. Um, I want to kill site because we've been at it a little bit, and I want to play a game instead. Um, so this question that I hope to answer is, who is our audience? And then how do we talk to them? And when we think about how many people, Greg, how many people do we have on Facebook? 209. Nice. How many do we have on Twitter? 149. Great. How many total views have we had in the past, this semester? This semester? Didn't have that one on top of that. <laughs> total views? Um, total watches is this semester is 19,000. Nice. How many people are? That actually might be all, all time. But. How many people are subscribed in our email list? So what is our total reach number? It's switched. It's switched. It's switched. It's switched. It's switched. It's maybe it's like 900 something. What is our total? What is our total reach number? 14,248. All right. So I want to play a game. I need six people to come up here. Wow, Sandra, hand up. Look at that. Up we go. Come on. Come on up. Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Thank you, because you're up front anyway. Yeah, you've been drafted. Come on, in you go. All right, so we're going to play a game. One, two, three, five. Get in there, Fritz. Get in there. All right, so we're going to play a game. So here are the rules. You, without talking to each other, um, you can gesture and whatnot. You have to arrange yourselves from low to high numbers. There's a number on each one of these. Do not look on it. Put it on your forehead. Choose wisely. This decision will haunt you the rest of the next five minutes. Do not look at the number. Do not look at the number. Did you look at your number? No, I didn't look at my number. Okay. Nice job. All right. Just like that. Just Put like it on our Andre. forehead. And okay. now arrange yourselves. Now arrange yourselves from low to high without talking. So, here's what we're all watching. What the fat cats in Washington don't know is that I've got them all by straight. Now, what we... <laughs> I was making a pointless joke. <laughs> <laughs> I just love a size. <laughs> all right, so what we're watching up here, what we are all watching here, how did we do? We have one, two, three. Great, you guys stay up there, look at your numbers. So what we watched was actually how people arrange themselves in a social situation, a lunchroom, a bar, online. We group up in areas where we feel we belong. We look for like-minded people. We look for our friends. Uh, we think about our communities. Uh, we create niches, tribes. Our sixes are different than our ones necessarily in our audience. But the problem is, when we look at a number like 1,448, we assume one big equal blob. We had a blob of students, but now we have numbers. So 
what would, for the sake of Globesville, be if we're thinking about one as not very active, for one as not very active, and six is super active, what does that kind of spectrum look like when we're thinking of a number of 1,448 or when we're thinking about the Globesville audience? So what is a, a one or two for somebody that's in the Globesville network? Who are you thinking of? Who is a one or two in terms of, let's say, engagement in the Globesville sphere of influence? Do you know? Do you, do you know of Globesville? Do you even is it on your radar? I never knew what it was either. So this is an appropriate one. So you, at our one and two level, we don't even know necessarily who the heck Globesville are. You aren't even in this number. So what about when we get to like a three, three or four? Who are you? If we're thinking of a spectrum of. All right. Because like like you're like you're like three. I mean, Andre, remember what you were? You were an athlete who you may have may have heard of. You've heard. <laughs> I've heard the word Globesville before. Okay, so we have never heard of Globesville. You actually, you are that person, like a month I heard ago. Of That sounds like a two. So what's a three now, as we're moving up? You see the game we're beginning to play. Um, I'm going to be calling on you. Watch Globesville sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you're actually, so if we're moving on, maybe you're a number inside of the 1,448. Maybe you like us on Facebook because somebody yep. said, hey, go like this. Maybe you're on the volleyball team and when you were being threatened, which actually happened. Mm. It was awesome. <laughs> Four, where are we here? If that if that was a, I kind of like them on, I like them on Facebook, and maybe I've, yeah, I like them on Facebook. Like friends of people in the class, you know, like like uh, when friends didn't did this thing last semester, which are all his friends, mm -hmm. and they watched his videos. It's like it's like that. But for like the ones that just shares the stuff, like you're actually sharing. Well, you're doing more with it, right? You're actually potentially watching yeah. things and sharing it. Or you're connected closely, like your immediate network of somebody in the class, and you're exposed to things. Are you in the 1,448? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I guess I like watch Glowsville and participate. Like I interact with Glowsville, so I comment on their stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're active. Yeah. It's not just a, a passive watcher. You're you're signed up. You're a member of the 1,448. You watch a how, how many minutes a week are you watching? How many minutes are there to watch? I can watch all the minutes. <laughs> You're engaged. You're saying, all right, what is your relationship, do you think, to this class? Laugh. Relationship. It's serious. LOL. We're thinking about moving in together, but we're not yeah. Really yeah. Sure. <laughs> no rings on no fingers. No, yeah, we've been to dinner a few times. I hear you. <laughs> been to dinner a few times. So at a six, hopefully you are the most engaged. You're probably in this class, which you are. Well done. You're in this class. You're active, engaged. You're a member of this list. You open our emails. You see where we're going, right? You are our super user. Somewhere in here, there's probably also NYIT alumni. I'd put them probably at about a four if they're on our list. They have some affinity. They're willing to watch. They're like, hey, I remember when I was in NYIT. Good times, really cold, snowed all the time. I live in Florida. <laughs> you wish. I almost. <laughs> right? And as we create content, sometimes we have to remember, and you guys can sit down now.
say 1400, but what's 1400? You don't know what the 4400 is? It sounds like familiar, but it's a TV show. Boring. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's really awesome. Parking lot. <laughs> Parking lot. She doesn't like sorry. Things, so. sorry. I'm not going to. 4400 is in the parking lot now. OK. So here were our ones, here are our sixes. Where I'm going with this is numbers are people too. We forget this when great folks like Greg give us these updates. Every week, we are getting new types of people from across this spectrum. The question is, how do we think about the content and the communication that Globesville puts out there. When you're about to throw this event, Stephanie, which numbers are going to be showing up? The fives and sixes. These are people that show up to an event. Why didn't you say ones and twos? They don't care. They don't know who we are. They don't know who we are. That's the <laughs> threshold. The threshold is, this is like, yeah. Question. So they just cross it out. <laughs> it's the Riddler. So when you're having that event, um, Andre, when you're creating content and you're thinking about these different episodes, who uh, who do you have in mind on the spectrum? We try and start with like the two to three area to like open up so people who haven't like heard of Goldsville can kind of jump in. But we also like give treats to the fives and sixes. Do you? Not. What does a treat mean? Uh, I love that. Yeah. But I, I'm challenging you. Uh, like, I mean, it's hard right What's now, a treat? Because like, a treat would be something in reference to like, like a day one goals we want to understand. So like, it'd be like, I don't know. I mean, like, if you ever watch like a show for a long period of time, and they like go back and reference, like in Freshman Bel Air, when they reference that, they change the mom, or that they ask her to yeah, like the mom this season. Like, <laughs> people who see the show, they were like, oh, that's funny because the mom wasn't there now. Where is she now? So. I mean, Something that the fans can appreciate, and people that have been there from the start can appreciate. While other people, it's still funny to them, but they don't understand it. So, when we're thinking about episodes, when we're thinking about creating content, you realize what begins to happen. If we're thinking about creating content for ones and twos, threes and fours, fives and sixes, if we're thinking about giving treats to our fives and sixes, what would it look like if we said, we're going to choose one fan from Glowcell and do a day in the life? We're just going to follow you around. We're going to do an interview. We're going to do a custom interview and figure out what you know, person on the street and reward this person. We're going to create jokes that are like focused on the fact that you remember Professor Fizz and that thing. Like we could do uh, favorite uh, favorite alumni moments. We can track back alumni and say we want to tell your exact story. We want to find one exact person out of this number. We've got freaking fourteen hundred and forty-eight people in this list. I'm willing to bet that there is a five or six out there. There is an alumni that we could actually say. What is your story? And really focus on someone and give them that type of reward. And what does that do? What does that message send? What does that message send when we do that? The thing is that from the time you started this thing, my head is stuck at one, two, three, and four. I'm not even thinking about five and six. Because the thing is that if you would just make some specific jokes, it doesn't make sense. It should be interesting for everyone. I don't think for specific people. Like, if, if you're cracking, because I've been a dental student, if I crack a dental joke, only dental people will get it. What's the sense of it? What kind of phone do you have? iPhone. How many, how many people do you think iPhones need to sell to? All people, everyone is having iPhones. But when it started, what did it start as? iPhone zero. What drink are you drinking right now? From? Starbucks. How many people would you say in the country? What percentage of people? Let's say this is the US. These are all the people in the US. How many people do you think Starbucks really needs? At least 20%. Maybe even This. Starbucks, and their, I'm sure what was a $5.50 drink so close, does not need and cannot need to sell to the entire country. If they did, they would lose their market share of the people that want high, super tasty, 
yes, I'll, expensive, but I know what I'm getting type of coffee so I can meet my day morning. And in fact, they reject the fact that they're going to be the rest of the US. And they have Seattle's best, which is meant to sell to everyone else at more affordable rates. iPhone, certainly, yes, it's large, but it's certainly not 100%. They want and they care about the people that are lined up for the new iPhone, yet we changed the color 6 something X. I'm going to wait around the corner so I can show off with my brand new shiny device. And when Apple's creating it, it knows that if we have a strong, dedicated core of people that care about us and a company that responds to our need for $4.85 iced coffees, we're able to then create a following around that by rewarding the top people in our group. Not to say we ignore the ones and twos, but we're creating content for the people that love us already. Absolutely. So, like, they're trying to, like, market that way. Airline miles, points on cards, reward systems, return customers. We care about the people that are in our circle. This changes a little bit, of course, when we're a media company and we're creating, like, newscasts for everybody. And I'm not saying not to do that, but I'm saying don't treat everyone in this number the same way and think about who our Starbucks people, who are, like, waiting in line for the new iPhone people are, and how we could potentially create content or even small nods to those folks that are watching multiple episodes and cultivate that type of audience. Any questions here? Yeah? So we are mostly concentrating on the people who are like globes will people, right? The people who like globes will already, that is five and six. I mean, this whole thing you are summarizing in a way that we are thinking about five and six, right? Am I? That, that's what you came up with. I mean, that's my job I, first off is to confuse you. Yeah, that's what you... You seem confused. Yeah, you, you really confuse me. That's I'm why I'm like, okay, now I have 100 more questions. That's what the Starbucks is. Like, every company gets profit from their, um, like, specific, like, it's all customer relationship management. Only 20% of loyal customers give profit to every company. And that is the main focus. You have to keep the, your loyal customers because that's when you get all the money from. We're focusing on everyone, but we have to keep our loyal customers also. And five and six are probably our loyal people. So, I love this idea. Any other questions or comments? More confusion? So I'm going to leave, leave us with this thought and kind of playing on, on Sonal's comment there. How is it that like a small dedicated group could possibly create revenue or create more ones, twos, and threes? Um, what happens when we do this to somebody? What happens? Well, I'm just starting to draw the hell on them. It's like, they keep coming back. Okay, so they, they'll keep coming back. What else do they do? Um, they have other people. What was that? They tell other people. Why would they do that? Because everyone likes bragging. So if you, if you find something that you like, then you start telling other people, like, oh, did you check this out? Yeah. How did you find out about the last piece of awesome, uh, last awesome band? My friend told me about it. How'd they tell you? Um, did Facebook, share the band, word, the word. Yeah, it's word of So again, what happens when we do this? Sure. 
hey, I found this really cool thing. They created a show just about me. Oh my gosh, I'm an alumni, and they actually came back and did a day in the life about what I was doing. I'm just throwing out ideas not to say to do this literally. When we delight people, when we express, surprise people, when they go beyond expectation, when you get a free drink every single whatever, not that you have been counting. I have a, I'm a gold card counter. NBD. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what happens? These people, these people do these the work people. for us. They get our ones and twos. So I'm not saying to ignore the ones, twos, and threes by any means. We should still create content. But we should also realize that if we're able to cultivate our fives and sixes, and yes, this may be a disproportionate sizing, we can get them to do the work for us. So I'm going to leave us there, unless there are any other questions, challenges. Don't worry, I'll still confuse you later. But I'll leave it there, and we can move on to maybe a, a quick break and a discussion of our parking lot items. Cool. That was wonderful. That's so sweet of you. <laughs>